Hey, Craig here. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on a new toy that I got for the Tormac. Uh, originally, I just got the uh, the mouse with it, um, but I just got the uh, the shuttle, the jog shuttle. So I'll uh, plug it in and see what this thing can do. All right. Okay, I have the uh, jog shuttle all set up here. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, originally, I plugged it in and then turned the computer on, but then it started entering BIOS. Uh, so I turned it back off and uh, unplugged the jog shuttle. It was like trying to boot off of the uh, off of this or something. I'm not sure what was going on, but I guess the way you're supposed to do it is turn the turn the computer on, turn everything on. And then plug this in. I believe that the drivers are already in there or something because it worked right away. So, um, so basically, let me uh, zoom in here. So basically, you have. A button for each of the axes, X, Y, Z, and uh, the uh, fourth axis, the A. Um, so basically, if you want to jog on, say, the uh, the Z axis, you basically just select Z, and the cent uh, this control right here, uh, kind of like the more you turn it, the faster it goes. So you could use this if you're like kind of far away from a part and you want to get, you know, within a certain distance of it. Uh, I'll see, the, the more you turn it, the faster it goes. And say I want to go to the, uh, the Y axis, then I select Y. And I can go back and forth on the y-axis. And then the then there's a step button right here. And this actually allows you to cycle through. Uh, this is actually only works on this right here. And you zoom out here. When you press the step button, you can see it cycles through the steps right here. I'll press it here, excuse me. You can see as I press it, it cycles through uh, the different step increments. So, you go to that one right there. So say you're really close to a part that you want to touch off. I'll just uh, clear this up on here for example. So you want to go on your... you want to go down so you'd select Z and you go down and when you get really close then you can then Start turning this right here. Until you touch off. Alright. Okay, I thought I'd just show a uh, real world example of this. Uh, say I want to uh, mill this piece right here. I haven't clamped it down or anything, but... Um, Say I wanted to uh, mill this and I want to find uh, my zeros. Uh, so basically I would, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it off this corner back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jog over, I'm gonna select uh, Y. And then X. I'll do my Z first, I'll select Z. I'll go down. And I'll get pretty close. Then I will make sure I'm on the correct instrument. I'm gonna 
do a foul and uh, then I'm just going to rotate this until I touch off and I would set my uh, Z0 and then I could go back up and then switch to Y go back and then Z and uh, Z go down and then Y again and then get pretty close to it and then go to the step again and touch off set my uh, Y0 come back off uh, select X come back around this way Y and then X and then get pretty close and then start stepping again I think there's paint on this right here so it's probably not going to read on the uh, uh, the probe there the, the, the probe actually for anybody who doesn't hasn't used one of these that it reads the uh, the electrical there's a battery inside the probe and it reads through the metallic metallic object and back through the mill which then makes it light up um, so once I've set that I would then uh, set my uh, X0 and I'd be set to go uh, I guess this is kind of like uh, the, uh, the Xbox controller um, but uh, from what I've seen, it's it's got better sensitivity. I mean, maybe I didn't have all the settings right on the Xbox controller, um, but to me, it seems to be uh, faster. Uh, you have more control. Uh, you can go through the different um, uh, step increments just by selecting this button, and uh, the ability to uh, go at different speeds. I think it has like one, two, three, four. It seems to have about four different speeds. Uh, on this ring right here, so. Anyways, so. I guess that's about it on the, uh, the jog shuttle. Uh, of course I just got it, so I'm just kind of playing around with it. Um, I'm sure as I use it more I'll get better at it. I've seen some people put it on here, um, but it doesn't doesn't seem to hold it. It's got a little rubber feet on there. Uh, it seems to stay put better if you stick it down on on the on the table or something like that. But I mean, you can use it over here. But uh, anyways, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. On the next video, I'm going to be doing uh, the chip guard that goes around here to keep the chips from flying all over the place. It doesn't have a, a back to it because I think most people have the, uh, the stand which has these back shields back here. So I may have some chips going out that way. Uh, I guess I'll have to figure that out. All right.